there. Well, I am meeting up today with Clement Leong, who's one of the historians and um, main celebrated tour guides here in Penang. He does tours at the Blue Mansion and does these amazing nighttime cemetery walks to take you through the history of a place that is equally as beautiful at night as during the day. This is the Old Notham Road Protestant Cemetery and there is an amazing array of people buried here from nationalities all around the globe. And although the cemetery is named the Notham Road Protestant Cemetery, it's been basically renamed by residents of Penang to the Francis Light Cemetery, which is the founder. He was the captain who helped found the city. And Clement is going to walk me through, show me some of the historical sites here within the cemetery, and talk me through what makes the nighttime cemetery walks quite special. So this is Clement, and Hi. we have just been on a tour of the cemetery. Thank you so much for that. My pleasure. Now I've learned a lot. There's actually some very interesting historical figures, not only for Penang, but also uh, people throughout history who have yeah. contributed um, to, to stories that we know from Asia from yeah. the 17, 1800s. Yeah, in fact, Penang was the like the first British colony in uh, Southeast Asia, founded by the East India Company in 1786, and many people came. Yeah. Asia, they, yeah, many of them were Christians, and so this is the first Christian cemetery in the island. And right here we have about 461 tombs. In the old days, we had more. They were still yeah, sitting this site, and this also became part of the uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 2008. So we have to you know, pay a lot of attention to the place, and also like to re sort of revive the history of the place to so tell people who, we, who were they, why they died here. And if you look at the headstones, the very sad stories, people died young. Yeah, we saw some infants, some mothers who were carrying children, uh, military, yeah, military, families who died of disease. As you can see, I'm back again, it's a different day. Unfortunately, all of the amazing footage that I captured and the stories that were told um, I lost. So I'm showing you the cemetery now with a few cut-ins from that amazing tour, but um, you have to forgive me if this isn't quite the video I had hoped for. There were an amazing amount of individuals buried in unmarked graves here that include Americans, Armenians, Australians, British, Chinese, Dutch, French, and Germans. Being back a second time makes me realize just how special this place is. The cemetery is being restored with beautiful care and love, and you can see that. It is definitely a must visit when you're in Penang, and something very different. I highly recommend this tour with Clement. It's a wonderful experience. It is every Sunday, uh, sorry, it it's is the last, last Sunday at 2 p.m. <laughs> at 2 p.m. And it lasts about an hour, and there's actually a street market across the, the way. So you could come early or stay later, do a little local shopping from some artisan vendors. And yeah, you can see a lot of activities here. And the best part, it is free of charge. Free of charge, that's yeah. awesome. So please come and join us. Okay, yeah. and I'm trying to talk Clement into uh, doing the night tours, but so far it's only on Halloween. Halloween, yeah. And we have about 40 to 50 people came at night holding the candles and they find a way to Thank you so much for the wonderful yeah. tour and for meeting me on your day off here. Oh, my pleasure. And please come more often. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.